Welcome to FA210, where 3D design, sculpture, jewelry, and metal casting and foundry courses are taught. This video is meant to give you an overview of general studio safety and etiquette in our studio spaces. First matter of importance is making sure that you come to class prepared to work. A part of this is dressing appropriately to be safe in our studio. Always wear appropriate closed-toed shoes in the studio. No sandals, flip-flops, or high heels. No open-toed shoes are permitted in the 3D jewelry and sculpture studios and their patio areas. Always take care to protect your body with proper clothing, safety glasses, hearing protection, and a respirator or dust mask if necessary. When using power tools, always remove rings, necklaces, loose clothing, or anything that might get caught in moving or rotating machinery. Always tie back long hair. If you're unable or unwilling to do these things, you may be excluded from some activities. Absolutely no earbuds are allowed around moving equipment. Dangling cords and blocking out verbal communication is a hazard. Never wear gloves when operating the table saw, drill press, band saw, sanders, or other machinery where gloves could get caught in rapidly moving and rotating equipment. Stay focused and go about your work in a mature manner. Use common sense. Don't rush a task or operation. Always concentrate on what you are doing and how it is affecting those around you. Never distract anyone while they're operating a machine. Never work when you're tired, stressed, in a hurry, or impaired. Accidents are much more likely to happen at these times. Also, Saddleback College has a zero tolerance policy for substance and alcohol use. If the faculty or shop manager suspects that an individual is intoxicated, they will cease the student's access to the studio and report the incident for disciplinary action. When working with potentially dangerous machines and equipment, it is important to listen to the instructions given to you by your professor and always being responsible for your own actions and respectful of others around you is of utmost importance. Never use the studio equipment or tools unless an instructor or lab technician is present. Supervised lab times outside of class are usually posted on the front door. All work in the studios must be supervised. Always ask the instructor for permission before using the power equipment and never use tools or equipment until you have received proper instructions and understand how to safely operate them. Do not operate machines or equipment unless all safety features and guards are in place. Always stop a machine to make any adjustments or measurements. Never use excessive force on any machine or tool. Let the machine do the work. Usually needing to force a machine means that something is wrong or your use is incorrect. Check the machine with your instructor or technician to be sure that your operation is right and the machine is safe to use. Never use broken or defective tools. Broken equipment should be reported to the instructor and or the technician immediately. When using a blade such as a box cutter, X-Acto knife, utility knife or mat knife, or carving tool, always point the blade's cutting edge away from your body and hands. Think about what will happen should the blade slip. 
If your hand or body is in the path of a cutting edge, rethink your procedure. Always report any injury, no matter how minor, immediately to your instructor or the lab technician, then go to the Student Health Center for treatment if necessary. Know where the first aid box is located in the studio. Be aware of others and always leave a safe distance between you and the other person working in the area. Don't chisel, grind, or force dust in their direction when operating tools because you can potentially harm someone else. Never create dust inside of a classroom. The resulting dust is a hazard to the students in the class. Use the blue downdraft tables and designated areas only. When in doubt, ask your instructor or lab technician for an appropriate location for your specific task. Never attempt to lift materials that are too heavy or too large for you to safely handle. Always ask for help and wait until help arrives. Be aware of equipment that may be hot. Never lean against a kiln that is on or grab a torch at its tip. In damp weather conditions, be mindful of water and where you are using corded power tools. Make sure cords aren't sitting in water and that your hands and feet are dry. Never leave tools, materials, cords, air hoses, or other obstacles on studio or patio floors especially in high traffic areas. Immediately wipe up any materials or liquids spilled on floors and work tables. Always clean up after yourself, throw away debris, dust off tabletops and machines, and sweep the floor. Wipe down and disinfect your work area, and always leave 10 to 15 minutes for cleanup. Treat all chemicals, patinas, solvents, and glazes as if they are poisonous. Minimize their contact with your skin and clothing. Avoid breathing vapors or dust. Always wear protective gear such as gloves, safety glasses, a dust mask or respirator when mixing or using toxic or dusty materials. Remember to clean up any spills immediately and wash your hands, face, etc if any material comes into contact with your skin. Never pour chemicals down the sink. Dispose of all toxic or flammable materials in a proper manner. If you are uncertain, consult your instructor or technician. Never mix chemicals together because an uncontrollable reaction may occur. Be careful when using flammable or toxic materials. Always work in a well-ventilated area away from the opening of the classroom or use the spray booth. Always dispose of oily rags in the flammable can. Always store flammable materials and liquids in the yellow flammable cabinet just outside the sliding glass doors. Avoid breathing dust from wood being cut or sanded fumes from chemicals or any other dry substance such as plaster, foam, metal, clay, cement, etc. Wear a dust mask when dusty conditions exist. Dust, chemicals, and fumes can be dangerous. Always work in a well-ventilated area and minimize your exposure whenever possible. Be aware and courteous of other students in the area where you are working with chemicals. Never pour plaster, clay, cement, or mold making materials down the sinks. Always wash using slot buckets near the hose in the plaster and foundry area. It's important to follow all these safety guidelines and to follow the guidance of your instructor as to proper use of machines and equipment. Remember, any breach of studio safety may result in loss of studio privileges.